Holy fucking shit, it's finally here. The Make Flix Black Friday order. It's only, what, January 4th? All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, back with another uh, Black Friday video. Yeah, still doing Black Friday videos. No, this is not a live stream. I'm just fucking lazy, and I still haven't uh, got my other area set up yet, but I did take down everything in the other area, and it is not really accessible right now where I normally record. So, yeah, I'm just going to be recording here until I... Uh, Muster up some energy and get shit done. So, uh, happy uh, Monday night to you guys at the time of this recording anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking exhausted, but uh, we'll uh, get into this anyways because I have been waiting on this thing for fucking ever, it feels like. And uh, yeah, it's finally fucking here. I don't know what happened that... Uh, Came from Ohio, got shipped to PA after it left Ohio for some fucking reason, and then sat there forever and never moved. So, yeah, it's here though. Make flex. See the sticker? Uh, temp A video or temp, temp, temp video, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, yeah. Haven't uh, pre opened this or anything yet. So, uh, you guys can watch me struggle with that. I hope everybody's doing well, by the way. And, uh, again, hope everybody had a great New Year's and Christmas and all that good shit. Now that we're into the New Year, we can quit talking about that now. And this is the last Black Friday uh, thing to come still, besides the <laughs> Vinegar Syndrome orders that one finally shipped today. The other one with all the old titles, uh, I don't know. And uh, they haven't emailed me back. So, anyways, um Again, if you guys haven't done so, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, the bell, all that good shit, drop down the description, find all your links to uh, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, um, all that good stuff. And I do have something else coming for you guys very shortly. I'm going to say what? All right, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, you get the uh, Christmas card, which does absolutely no good now. Uh, but hey, maybe next year I can put it up. Uh, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I don't know what any of the names are, so... <clears throat> With uh, some of your titles here on the opposite side. A, uh, a invoice. Uh, my, my, my total amount was uh, $94. Uh, this includes the Shot on Video six pack, and uh, should be four titles. Yeah, four titles aside from that, because they were buy one get one free. Yep, just drop that everywhere. And we have a uh, Tempe Tempe whatever video uh, little flyer. Movies with guts. I know the glare is absolutely terrible. Uh, bad movie police. Plus I have the TV on in the background, making it worse. So I'm just professional like that. Alright, we'll go with the uh, the other four releases first, and then do the, uh, the Happy Mill down in here. <clears throat> Alright, I'm always just congested as fuck when I do these videos, right? bother me. All right, so we have Unlisted Owner. I'll open these up and then go through uh, everything. Ozone. Uh, okay, it's got a bonus movie. October Moon and a bonus movie of October Moon 2. Cool. So, actually, I got five 
extra films besides the six pack. And then we have uh, Linnea Quigley and uh, Brink Stevens, Michelle Bauer, and Screaming in High Hills. <clears throat> as far as these go, I went for the ones that had the lowest stock. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's how I chose them. <laughs> I, I have no other uh, reason why I, I chose them. But there you go. There's your four titles. I know I have the banner going across, so I don't forget to thank you guys. Uh, so I got to lift these up a little higher than I thought. I'm, I'm just in a uh, opening Black Friday shit on January. Uh, first week of January is kind of kind of ridiculous mood. All right. Let's, let's, let's get our, our happy mill here. We'll carry handle. Take your launch in it or something. Signed up by uh, J.R. Bookwalter, the uh, guy who runs uh, Tempe Video or whatever. I, I'm not really sure. Something like that. Uh, yeah. So here is a, another look at the back if you guys uh, are interested in that. <clears throat> uh, 24 page booklet with photos and liner notes. Bonus Vimeo on demand digital streaming code. Exclusive packaging, limited to 300 units, uh, which I, I don't think it's sold out still. And you can get it on uh, Diabolic as well. Six individual region-free Blu-rays, three restored movies with 5.1 surround remixes, original VHS versions from Archival Edit Masters, live original cast reading of the complete uncut Humanoids from Atlanta screenplay, three commentary tracks for each movie, New and vintage extras from Tempe Waltz, reversible wraps, and original VHS artwork. Two bonus soundtrack music CDs. Three reversible 10x13 mini posters. Which I've already seen the posters on other people's unboxings, and it kind of sucks if you want one, you can't have the other that's on the back side. And, some, and one of them in particular, I like both those artworks better than the rest of them. And you can't do both at the same time. So <clears throat> let's dive into here. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep them in the box. They're likely just going to go onto the shelf. Are there anything written on the inside or not? Uh, there's some kind of design on the bottom. So that's cool, I guess. You get a uh, plenty of plenty of booble wrap. <laughs> All right, and it comes all wrapped up like that. Where is my cutter? Oh, there we go. Let's uh, slice open here. Yep, yep. All right. Fun, all right? Struggle. Oh, don't want to damage any of that. Like I'm ever gonna hang the posters up. All right, so here's your here's your posters. It's just artwork for each movie. I'm not gonna un I'll unfold one so you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and give away two of the movies. So here's uh, Humanoids from Atlantis and uh, Galaxy of Dinosaurs. Now I'll just do them all. Fuck it. Maximum Impact and Chick Boxer. You guys already know what the titles are, but this one here, um, uh, these are probably my two favorite titles and artwork in the Zombie Cop and Kingdom of the Vampire. So I would rather have Kingdom of the Vampire and Zombie Cop hung up if I was if I was to hang these up. So there's the posters, and uh, obviously I just gave away all the movies. You got a booklet with uh, pictures and words. Uh, yeah, cool. Lots of lots of words. I'll 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 never read that. All right, humanoids from Atlantis. 
If it's anything like humanoids from the deep, then we're good. And these all include original motion picture soundtrack volume two. Well, maybe not all including volume two, but they all include soundtracks as well. <clears throat> Here's your reverse art. Hell, can I? Okay, she's covered up. Uh, I like them both about the same. I'm just going to leave them all the way they are. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with all. I'll reverse them all. How's that? How's that? Because I believe the artwork on the front is the newly commissioned. Humanoids from Atlantis. Let's see. It's from 1992. I'm just going to go ahead and do the um, features and years and everything now and work my way backwards. Uh, rated R, VHS Hi-Fi, uh, approximate runtime of 85 minutes. I don't think any of these have features, and I'm not going to read the synopsis. Uh, well, I'll, re I'll read some of it. How's that? Millions of years ago, the city of Atlanta sank to the ocean's floor without a trace. Now, decades later, a humanoid body has been found in the remains of what everyone believes to be the long-lost aquatic city. But what they don't realize is that the humanoid creature has only been has only now been awoken from centuries of hibernation and hunger. Cool. Uh, rising from their watery graves to fulfill an ancient hunger is your is your tagline. Awesome, man! I I really got to get that other space done because this sliding is miserable. All right. Galaxy of the Dinosaurs. No, they don't all include... I was wrong. No, there's no soundtrack in all of them. All right. Let's see what we got for reverse art. Ellie and Man versus Ellie and Beast on a World Gone Wild. There's your reverse art. I gotta say, I like the new art better. I, th I guess this is the new art. Because you got chicks on that art. You know, but we'll just we'll just continue the trend, guys, and uh, flip them around, anyways. I mean, in all honesty, how many times are you gonna look at the cover art of your fucking Blu-rays once they're on the shelf? Yeah, not very much. <clears throat> Nineteen ninety-two. It's in color. Uh, runs uh, eighty-five minutes. Rated R. And uh, let's see, I'll, I'll read the first line on all these, okay? It was supposed to be a simple intergalactic field trip, because, you know, those, those always are simple. A chance for five people from the planet Z Xyrox, who look remarkably like humans, to get out and see what lies beyond their humdrum world. I, I don't know. All right. Maximum Impact. Sounds like a Van Damme movie. It really does. Uh, a man's best friend is a big gun. Sometimes it's a woman's best friend too, right? All right. Here's your disc art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to love the original VHS cover art here. I mean, this guy just looks... You don't want to fuck with this guy. Or you're going to get your maximum ass kicked. Maximum mass kicked. Max, maximum mass kicking. Fuck out of it. Sorry, I'm not so enthused. Uh, this video, guys. I'm just. <laughs> it's still on how long it took to get here. Check that out. I mean, you see that at the video store. You're going to grab that shit. I mean, if this is sitting next to, like. I, well, I wouldn't be sitting next. I'm trying to think of something else with an M. Uh. I, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, if this is sitting next to something like Commando or something, which one are you going to fucking pick, man? You're going to pick this badass motherfucker right here, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, from 1992, rated R, runs 80 minutes. <clears throat> John, or sorry, Jerry Handley is an average guy living the average American dream. He's getting married with plans to raise... A family in a small suburban town, but while on business in nearby big city, Jerry witnesses teenage girls subjected to the 
worst sorts of horrors imaginable at the hands of a ruthless pimp and his gang of thugs. Jerry's friend tries to set him up with one of the thugs teen prostitutes. Thugs teens pro huh? But instead, Jerry uh, befriends the girl, stealing her away from the gang. Little did Jerry know that the girl is a prized possession of the gang's leader. The ruthless gang raids Jerry's sleepy community in search of their property, killing Jerry's fiance in the process and spiriting the teen whore away. The murder triggers Jerry's deepest emotions, causing him to unleash his revenge upon the gang on their own terms. Jerry's revenge unleashes a, a fury within him, bordering on maximum impact. A thrill-packed actioneer from the creators of The Dead Next Door and Lady Avenger. I do know The Dead Next Door, so... I can't believe I read that whole thing. There wasn't just, like, one section. It's all together, so I had to. Um, I don't know. That sounds like another fucking movie, doesn't it? Of a, of a superhero movie from the Marvel Universe, maybe? <laughs> Not gonna say who, but his logo incorporates, like, a skull... And it gets his whole family. Never mind. All right. Check Boxer. Check out that fucking artwork. Yeah, that just screams fucking watch me. Uh, her naked fist will be in your face. Same. Inside. All right, what do we got for reverse art? I gotta I gotta say, these, these look absolutely fucking terrible. But, you know... I know that going in. They're shot on video, um, low budget films. And uh, I need to expand my horizons. I'm getting kind of bored with uh, your average movie. These inserts are really small. Kind of the same artwork, just not animated. All right. Uh, but I like the all new uh, banner. Oh, God, that red on blue is just. It's not good. It's not good for the for the, for the eyeballs. Nineteen ninety two rated R, eighty minutes. This is catalog number uh, fifteen seventy four. If anybody was wanting to know that, by the way. Wow, my eyes just can't comprehend this shit. Blazing across the airwaves comes America's favorite super heroin chick boxer. Somewhere in the Midwest, a young woman named Kathy watches Chick Boxer's weekly television show in awe, trying to emulate her swift kicks and super moves. Kathy enrolls in a local karate school where the teachers are up to some dirty dealings, drugs, prostitution, and more. Intent on busting the teachers and cleaning the school of scum, Kathy is on her way to kicking bad guy butt. Unfortunately, she is no match for the bad guys until a detective who's been on the bad guys' trail comes to her rescue. Chickboxer's finale explodes in an action-packed, all-out kickboxing war. Chickboxer is a smash action epic from the creators of The Dead Next Door, Lady Avenger, and Ghetto Blaster. So they didn't put Ghetto Blaster on the other one from the same. Right. Okay, cool. All right. I just love that artwork. I know it's not going to be nearly as good as the art. Uh, kind of like a maniac cop, maybe. I'm glad these weren't individually wrapped. They're a lot easier. And I even dig the alternate artwork. It's pretty sweet. I uh, like them both about the same, actually. So, pretty happy with this one. Yeah, this poster's getting hung up. He doesn't beat a helpless motorist, and he doesn't like donuts. That's that's what she went with for a tagline? Jeez. Looks like it's cricket, but it's not. It must be printed cricket. Because, uh, yeah, I'm holding that straight. Uh, 1991, rated R, 90 minutes. 90 minutes probably too long on some of these... Anyways, uh, during what seems to be a routine drug bust, a hardened cop named Gil meets up with a Haitian voodoo doctor named Dr. Death. 
I mean, yeah, your name's Dr. Death. I'm going to fucking try to track you down, too. Uh, Death is shot while chanting some voodoo ritual, but manages to kill Gil in the process, cursing his existence for all time. In the nights that follow, both Gil and Death rise from their graves to carry out eternal life as members of the undead. Gil enlists the help of Stevens, his human partner, and together the duo track down the ghoulish Death, who is continuing a nefarious plans for world domination. What the fuck is nefarious? Oh. Zombie Cop is an action-packed horror thriller in the tradition of Maniac Cop. Well, there you go. And Dead Heat, directed by J.R. Bookwalter, The Dead Next Door, Robot Ninja, and produced by David DiCatia, Creepazoids, and Dr. Elian. Sounds pretty fucking interesting. It's definitely, that'd be the first one I watch out of these if I watch them. All right, Kingdom of uh, the Vampire. Suburban neighborhoods and her kingdom and death is her... Suburban neighborhoods are her kingdom, sorry. And death is her domain. Right. Cool. Uh, yeah, there's volume one of the soundtrack, by the way. That, uh, I'm sure I will I will take these out and take them in my truck and listen to them every day. And you know, it's uh, off topic, but uh, it's hard to find uh, newer vehicles with uh, CD players. I hate that. Anyways, um, cool. I like the reverse art. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Jeff seems to be a normal guy. He lives at home with his mother. He has a good night job in a liquor store. Yeah, I mean, that's, you're working in a liquor store, dude. That's, that's a good job. And he looks pretty good for a vampire that's 90 years old. Man, I hope I'm not living at home at 90. Um, but Jeff's mother is a terrible old hag who has a habit of killing neighborhood children in her bloodthirsty rages. Jeff remains reluctant to reveal his true identity until he meets Nina, a young woman who, uh, fi finances him or sorry, but fancies who the fuck uses these words, guys fancies him. Uh, I really fancy that gal. She's, she's something else. Ah, but Jeff's not the only one with eyes for Nina. Mother has other plans for her. Well, I, this could go one of two ways. <laughs> uh, Kingdom of the Vampire is an action-packed horror drama in the tradition of George Romero's epic Martin. Oh, God, they're comparing this to a Romero film. Directed by J.R. Bookwalter, The Dead Next Door, Robot Ninja, and produced by David Dakota, Creepazoids, Dr. Elian, and it just ends there. All right, um, her bark is worse than her bite. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, just, I hate when mom just starts killing kids in the neighborhood, you know? It's a damn shame. Alrighty, where are we at? Screaming in high hills. You know, I was going to make this video a, uh, a two-parter with a... Another studio. Don't know if that's uh, it's it's, it's going to happen. We're already at a uh, twenty-three minutes. Holy shit! Trying to shorten my videos, but uh, anyways, uh, no no reverse art. Let's do get uh, do get your disc art. These are all made on demand, by the way. I don't know if you could see the little ring there. Do get uh, interior art. I wasn't planning on reading these synopsises and everything. Screaming in high hills. This this is another uh, one I want want to watch uh, sooner other than later. Gotta love the old uh, Manea Quigley Manea Manea. I can't ever remember. Inserts not lining it up, man. All right, this is from uh, da, 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 what year? Um, it says 2011, color and black and white, 63 minutes, horror documentary. Okay, so this is a 2011 documentary. 
So this will be a, a an early watch for me. Not rated, 16 by 9, region free. Bonus features include 2011 outtakes with a Nick Quigley, Brink, and Michelle. All new 2020 cast reunion special. Two flashback weekend of horror Q&A sessions. All new photo gallery and trailer gallery. I'm not going to read all these synopsis, but this is a, a documentary apparently. So, cool. Huh. I watched this uh, tonight. It's only uh you know sixty three minutes anyways. Awesome. I hate how uneven the uh, insert is, but uh, that's just me being fucking OCD. Vampirism, flesh eating, demonic possession, chainsaw hookering. Every girl needs to make a living. So obviously it's going to be uh, Hollywood chainsaw hookers and uh, stuff like that. So awesome, an amazing story that horror and pop culture fans should and will lavishly enjoy. It says Planet Fury. That's where Nick Fury's from. I, I don't know. Cool. Awesome. Man, and I tell you what, she has not aged well. Uh, let me quickly. Some of them have. I mean, look at Barbara Crampton. Still gorgeous. But uh, Lenny quickly has been uh, road hard and put away wet. More than once. All right, uh, October Moon 1 and 2. Love is not patient. Love is not kind. That's your fucking tagline. All right, you got some disc art. A decent tension is generated, says Fangoria. All right, uh, 15 years ago, an indie film company known for releasing titles for the horror counterculture took a chance on a subgenre not yet attempted. Oh, I did not know this was a, okay. Gay-themed horror. Uh, the result was October Moon, an instant success, which garnered an immediate cult following, critical praise, Coverage in U.S. and international magazines, theatrical screenings on college campuses, and worldwide release in multiple languages. Over a decade later, the story of a deadly gay love triangle, critics labeled Gay Tal Attraction, has spawned a sequel. Scores of emulators, annual Halloween screening parties, and retains its status as one of those movies that even if you haven't seen it, you'll at least think you have actually heard of it. All right, um, so apparently it is a uh, gay-themed horror um, film. Uh, 2005, the first one runs 121 minutes. 2008, the second one runs 104 minutes. Horror, gay, and lesbian, not rated. Cool. Can I had no... I just saw the fucking cover and saw it was low in stock and grabbed it. I, I, if I watch this, this would be my first uh, venture down that road. Um, man, I hope I, I, I can come back from that uh, that road if, uh, if I go down it. Anyways, I have nothing against anybody, so um, whatever. Uh, I love you all. So Okay. Um, ozone. This stuff will blow your mind. I just love everybody, man. I don't care what you are. I don't think I need that. Okay, if you're black, white, purple, fucking green, orange, what's your sexual preferences? We're all here for film. And other stuff in the world. I mean, obviously, there's more than just movies, right? I think. I don't know. I think you get a card in this one. Uh, it could have been maybe something different. Than we already have. No background imagery. This looks cool, though. Um, I think this is a newer one from them. This is from 1994. Around 81 minutes. I mean, the newer uh, release. Anyways. Uh, yeah, it's a 2020 release from uh, them. Tremendous, risky enough to be an independent, but slick enough to have the feel of a big studio production. Absolutely worth a look. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to read all these. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, features include 2020 restored featurette and 4.3 original aspect ratio, uh, 133. Uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 surround mix, 2020. Audio commentary with producer director J.R. Bookwalter, moderated by Tempe historian Ross Snyder of Saturn's Core Audio and Video. 2003 audio commentary with director J.R. Bookwalter and star James Black. 2003 Street Zombies audio commentary director J.R. Bookwalter. Dolby Digital 5.1 surround Castilian Spanish dubbed mix. Bloopers and outtakes run in 30 minutes. Production and artwork gallery, 5 minutes. Promotional gallery, uh, 6 minutes. 1993, Channel 23, news segment, 3 minutes. 1993, News Talk 29, appearance, 19 minutes. Paying for your past sins, the Ozone Story, 30 minutes. Into the Black, James Black and Ozone, 8 minutes. 2003, location tour with actor James L. Edwards, 5 minutes. Behind the scenes, footage, and optional audio commentary, 7 minutes. Early test footage, 13 minutes. And Tempe Digital Trailers. Oh, you know, I was going to... Oh, fuck. While on a stakeout, hard-boiled cop Eddie Boone gets injected with a dangerous new designer drug causing nightmare side effects. As he searches for his missing partner, Eddie discovers the urban streets full of mutants, monsters, and mayhem orchestrated by... The mastermind behind the lethal narcotic. Produced and directed by J.R. Bookwalter. Ozone is the shot on video epic video scope calls an exciting fast paced action horror hybrid that never lets up momentum. momentum. Painstakingly restored from original Super VHS C camera masters with a dynamic 5.1 surround sound mix. Camcorder classic Ozone explodes on the Blu-ray looking sharper and more vibrant than ever together with three audio commentaries and over two hours of bonus materials. This is the most I've read in a video. I'm trying to get better at it for you guys. And so I figured I got to do it more, get better at it. All right. Last one. Unlisted owner. One of these videos, I'm going to lose a finger. Just for you guys. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood. That's, that's an original tagline. 74 minutes. Huh? At least it's short. Uh, horror thriller. 5.1 surround. Not rated. Bonus features include director's audio commentary. Production outtakes. 20 minutes. Optional English subtitles and trailers. All right. Uh, looks like it was put out in 2019 on a Blu-ray here. The owner house has been vacant for several years because of its very dark history. But a recent series of murders has taken the property to a whole nother level of notoriety. Of notary. A... Family who just moved in has been murdered. Uh, pipe, pipe, piking, pipe. I don't know these fucking words. Uh, the curiosity of a group of friends armed with handheld video cameras. The group decides to break in and investigate, leading to the worst decision of their otherwise fun-filled night. The resulting footage has been edited into suspenseful. Unlisted owners, we dare you to watch alone. So I guess it's supposed to be like a found footage uh, type film. Where are we at on time? 33 minutes. Holy shit. You get another uh, card here. Anything on the back? No. All right, cool. So at least if it's bad, it's only 74 minutes. But with my luck, it's going to be really good. And I'm not going to want it to be over. And then I'm like, fuck, it's only 74 minutes. I want more. All right, so that's it from um, from Make Flix. Um, we'll go through the other titles really quick. I won't read all the synopsis and everything. Oh, so you had your posters to each of these, and you had your six your six films here: Zombie Cop, Maximum Impact, 
Galaxy of the Dinosaurs, Humanoids from Atlantis, Chick Boxer, and Kingdom of the Vampire. Then you had your October Moon, 1 and 2, your uh, Ozone, uh, Screaming in High Hills, and Unlisted Owner. So let me know if you guys have heard of any of these, seen any of these, and which ones you think sound pretty fucking interesting. All right. Now, for... If I can grab these up, fucking them up. All right. This first two, I got uh, from Dark Force uh, Entertainment. My first order from Dark Force. Uh, I was reluctant to do so because uh, I've heard some kind of bad things about Dark Force, but I myself had not ordered from there, so I was like, fuck it, you know? Um, it's Black Friday, they're on sale. Uh, I've shown all these in the, in the Black Friday live stream. Again, I want to kind of dive a little deeper into these. Um, Dead Pit with the awesome embossed slip. Man, you fill this whole fucking zombie, whatever. I've not seen the movies, so I don't, I don't, I'm guessing zombie. Uh, nothing fancy on the inside, but, uh, I had to grab it because the slip's cool and, uh, you know, they shipped it in a bubble mailer, but they, they put a bubble wrap on top of that as well. So I was like, you know, um, at least that's something, uh, this is a code red release. They, they, I mean, they came in decent shape. Uh, features include brand new 2K scan from the original negative with extensive scene-by-scene -scene correction, on-camera interview with stars Cheryl Lawson, Jeremy Slate, director Brett Lennard, and writer-producer Gamil Everett. This is from uh, 1989. This is in the 178 aspect ratio. Kind of an odd aspect ratio. And uh, runs uh, 102 minutes. Uh, again, Dark Force Code Red collaboration. Um, again, I'm not going to read all the synopsis to these, but I figured I would on the uh, Make Flick stuff because I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't heard of that, um, those films. So I want to give them a little bit more attention. Insect or Blue Monkey. This is another one in collaboration with Code Red there. Um, yeah, here somewhere. Uh, another one in the 178 aspect ratio. Usually it's 185, so that's kind of um, 96 minutes. Looks like it's from. Don't know a year. Let's. Mm, I don't see one on here. Uh, it's because it's got the Roman numerals. Roman 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 noodles. Um, we got Steve Rell's back in here. I, I've heard of this one a lot. Um, Blue Monkey. This looks absolutely fun. They breed, they hatch, they kill. Maybe it's just a phase they're going through. Who knows? Uh, again, no inside art. But that's okay. You get another nice, really embossed slip here. You can fill the whole insect. And uh, your features on here, you get a brand new HD transfer from the original uncut 35 millimeter negatives with extensive color correction and trailers. So, cool. They arise out of nothing. They think they kill. Is your tagline. Alright, so moving on to the Dark Force Super... Or, Dark Force. I just did Dark Force. Moving on to the Ronin flicks. These four titles here... You got for 50 bucks. I didn't really have any interest in any of these, but for that price, you know, might as well. They're basically buy one, get one free, buy two, get two free, however you want to fucking put it. Uh, but you get four titles for 50 bucks. Otherwise, they're like 20 to $25 a piece, somewhere in that range. So why not? And I have, uh, these didn't the all come in the clear cases. I've switched some of them over. I think one or two did. But um, anyways, these are all from Scorpion releasing. Uh, nope, wait, take that back. That's Code Red. Okay, all but one are from Scorpion. This one here is a Code Red release. Uh, Nom Angels. We got Brad Johnson, Vernon Wells, and Rick Dean in here. No reverse art or anything. Uh, they're fighting for glory. 
for gold and just for the hell of it. Special features include brand new HD scan of the original 91 minute uncut version, on camera interview with star Vernon Wells. Watch this in Katrina's drive in theater mode. Original trailer. I don't know what that drive in is. I've never heard of it. Uh, another 178 aspect ratio, 91 minutes, 1988. So, Nom Angels. Again, I'm going to go through these pretty quick, guys. Uh, the Peace Killers. I believe this one did have uh, a clear case. Bent on raising hell, as long as they're loose, there's no place to hide. This one did have reverse art. This is actually the reverse art that I just showed. And here is the one that came with it. Both of them being... Both of them being kind of cool uh, artworks, but I like this one just a little bit better because of the explosion shit going on. And, uh, rated R, um, 1080p high definition, 1971, 87 minutes. Features include audio commentary by director Douglas Schwartz, screenwriter Michael Burke, and actor Gary Morgan. On-camera interview with Schwartz and Burke. Then from 1971, 178 aspect ratio. All right, cool. I'm, I don't know much about these bike, the, 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 all these biker type movies, exploitation movies, all kind of have same um, premises for the most part. So I don't know. This is not something I'm really into, but for the price, why not? Uh, Angel Unchained, Don Strode, Luke Escu, Barry Bishop, and Tyne Daly. I don't know any of these names. This is the hell run that you make alone. Don, a gauntlet of vengeance in a war for survival against the Psycho Freaks and the Dune Buggy Straits. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, I had to use a two-disc case because I was out of single disc. Um, you get uh, brand new on-camera interviews with co-stars Larry Bishop and Jordan Rhodes, original trailer. 1970 runs 86 minutes. This is only a PG 13. Usually, your biker ones are rated R, and there's lots of nudity at least. Um, but uh, yeah, 1970 Orion Pictures. Cool. Uh, this is in the 185 aspect ratio, which is my favorite aspect ratio, um, which is your more standard. And the last one of that. Bunch is the Cycle Savages. Now, this does have Bruce Dern in it. I do know that name. Chris Robinson, Melody Patterson. Roaring through the streets on chopped down hogs. They steal women, initiate them into the pack, sell them on the black market of crime. Hot steel between their legs, the wildest bunch of the 70s. Nothing, nothing going on inside. Features include interview with. Actress uh, Murray Ayers, deleted scenes and trailers. Uh, again, from 1969. This is in the 178 aspect ratio, runs 82 minutes. Awesome. Now, these next two I'm really excited for uh, Christopher Walken and the Dogs of War. Let the slip cover. Love Christopher Walken. One of my all time favorites. You got reverse cover art. This is from 1981, runs 104 minutes. Features include a new 2020 2K scan of the inner positive, interviews with co-stars Paul Freeman and Maggie Scott, co-writer George Malco, first assistant director Anthony Wayne, production designer Pete Mullins, and costume designer Emma Porteous, and trailers. Cool. Uh, they don't have any other names really. Oh, Tom Berenger is in here as well. Sweet. But yeah, Dogs of War, and then you got your reverse art, same as the slip. One more left, guys. This is another uh, Scorpion release. Cool. Uh, this is in the 185 aspect ratio. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Death Warrant. Love my Van Damme. Can't get enough. Uh, no reverse art or inside art. It's pretty fucking basic. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Um, from Scorpion. <sighs> shame, shame, guys. Um, 88 Films is really doing it right with the Van Damme films. 
but they haven't put this one out or announced this one yet, so I had to grab it from Scorpion from um, Ronin Flix. And this shit was like 30 bucks or something, so it was Dogs of War. Uh, special features include commentary with director Darren Safari, Safran, interview with Patrick Kilpatrick, interview with Art Lafar, and trailers. Not not much in the way of features here. This is an old Canon Films release from 1990, runs 89 minutes, rated R. Uh, this is in the 185 aspect ratio. Um, that's really about all I got to say. Not much else going on here. Anybody else in here? I don't recognize any of the other names. All right, cool. But yeah, Death Warrant, Jean-Claude. Um, there is like three more titles announced from Idiot Films. You got um, Maximum Risk. Um, I, gotta, I don't remember the other ones. Uh, Nowhere to Run, one of my all-time favorites. And uh, something else I can't think off the top of my head. But anyways, so I'm looking forward to those coming up for pre-order on their site. I, I know I can probably get some from Diabolic earlier, but I want my points, man. Yeah, Van Damme, Death Warrant. Classic shit. Alright, that is it from Dark Force and... Oh, shit. Uh, a little off-camera action there. And uh, Dark Force and uh, Ronin Flix. Scorpion Code Red shit here. Yeah, and let me know if you guys have seen any of these and what you guys think of them. Uh, which ones sound interesting? You had Death Warrant... Dogs of War, Cycle Savages, uh, Angel Unchained, Peace Killers, Nom Angels, Insect or Blue Monkey, and Dead Pit. I do have two more titles from Dark Force um, ordered on um, ones they just released, so looking forward to those. And uh, so far, so good uh, from the company as far as uh, quality. Is concerned. All right, I'm gonna take my fucking happy mill and get the hell out of here. So until next time, guys, as always, peace, love, happiness to all of you, and I will catch you next time. Later. You're not gonna last too long.